you want to learn how to add a subdomain in Route 53, then stick around for the subscriber requested tutorial. I'm Thomas with Braintrust Digital. I'm a full stack developer obsessed with learning. If you're interested in learning full stack web development, please consider subscribing below. I just want to say thank you as we recently crossed over 300 subscribers. And that's crazy to me. So I really appreciate everybody uh, liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, I just want to say thank you for that. I really appreciate that. In this subscriber requested tutorial, we're going to walk through how to add a subdomain in Route 53. Eduardo reached out in the comments of a previous video asking some questions about subdomains, and I thought it might be easier to just create a video to answer the questions. We can walk through how to create a subdomain, as well as some concerns you may want to note before you create your subdomain. One important point to pay attention to with subdomains is your SSL certificate. I have a video covering how to create certificates in Amazon using AWS Certificate Manager that I'll link here in the card, as well as down here in the description. You're going to want to reference that video for the full details, but the basic premise is that you're going to want to generate a wildcard certificate. This way you can generate any number of subdomains and not have to worry about specifically enabling the certificate for those individual subdomains. All of them will work just by default with a wildcard. Subdomains are a subset or portion of a larger domain that allow you to create a logical grouping. For example, store.adbs-rails.com. In that example, store is the subdomain for the adbs-rails.com domain. This tool allows you to logically separate out or organize different pieces of functionality or different even applications within the same domain structure. You're going to create your subdomains inside of your hosted zone. I have a tutorial covering hosted zones that I'll link here in the card as well as down here in the description. If you've never worked with hosted zones, uh, they basically tie your domain to your different records that you wish to attach. In this case, it's going to be subdomain or CNAME records. So with that being said, let's get into the tutorial to learn how to create a subdomain in Route 53. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into the AWS admin console. Then you're going to navigate to Route 53. All subdomains are simply records attached in a hosted zone. You'll have your one hosted zone attached to your domain name. Even if your domain is with a different registrar, like GoDaddy or Namecheap. As mentioned in the hosted zone video, you're just going to create a hosted zone for that domain, then migrate over all of the records on that hosted zone from the old platform or the old registrar to Amazon's Route 53 hosted zone. Finally, you'll point the name servers to the new Amazon name servers. If you're working with a domain that you've already purchased in Amazon, that's not a problem. You can just go ahead and click hosted zones, select the domain you want to work with and move forward. Once the hosted zone is in Amazon and your domain is pointing to that hosted zone, whether it's in the Route 53 registrar or a different registrar, everything else is identical moving forward. Let's go ahead and click into our domain now. Here in the adbs-rails.com hosted zone, you can see the records we have attached. So the first thing you're going to do is click create record. Subdomain will be a simple routing record. So you can go ahead and click define simple record. Here we can pretend that we have a blog. Maybe this is a WordPress website and we want to point it to an IP address of some PHP server we have in a completely different platform. We could choose IP address. We could then populate this with the value of the IP address for the external platform that's hosting our blogging website. Next, you'd go ahead and click define simple record by clicking create record. As you can see, we've successfully created a fake blogging subdomain, blog.abs-rails.com. Next, if we wanted to create another subdomain record, we could click create record, simple routing, click next, then click define simple record once again. Maybe with this record, we can pretend we had a Shopify store and again, choose a record endpoint. You can continue to add in all as many subdomains as you would like, attaching them to your very specific IP addresses. You can of course also attach ADBS services. So if we delete this IP address and instead click the dropdown, 
you can see we can create alias records. Here you have the option to create alias records for various services. We've already created records for application load balancers and S3 static website endpoints that you can see in several other tutorials. In this case, since I'm not actually keeping these records, I'm going to go ahead and cancel and hit cancel one more time. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and delete the blog record that I made up. I just wanted to quickly run through creating a subdomain. So you could see it's a simple process where you're just selecting CNAME records and, and providing your specific IP address for the uh, external resource you'd like to link or internal Amazon specific. You're just selecting alias records and then subsequently linking those items as well. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please click the like button to let me know that you like that content, as well as considering subscribing if you think that this type of content might be something you'd be interested in in the future. And with that, I'll catch you in the next AWS Rails tutorial.